All right, in this episode, we're gonna paint this cute little duck and he's so adorable. So I just wanna go ahead and apologize ahead of time. Uh, this is an old video that I tried to record and because of how like tall this canvas is, I recorded the video a little uh, awkwardly. This is the only time I'm ever gonna do it. Lesson learned, but you'll see what I mean here soon. For now, let's move on to all the supplies that I used. I'm really trying to get rid of a lot of my more beginner paints or craftier paints, so a lot of this is going to be artist soft. Okay, now because this is more craft paint than anything professional, it is going to come out very thin. So I'm just doing my first layer of green and I'm already going to go ahead and start the gradient. And later you'll see me sketch and then re-add another layer of green uh, going around that sketch. And there's my little sketch of the duck. I don't really know if you can see him very well, but uh, you'll see me go around him. Okay, so now I'm going to start adding the shadows of any stems that overlap or wherever the flower, uh, da daisy, dandelion, the dandelion, wherever that is, will also cast a shadow on the stem. So I'm going to go ahead and do my base shadows. Thank you. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna paint the little middle part that the stems are connected to of the... You know what? I need to look up some parts of this flower. Okay, so I just painted the seed head and then the little white things that pop out are just the seeds themselves. Okay, good to know. Okay, so recap. Now we're paint, paint, mm, painting the seed head and then we're going to start on the actual seed parts. At this point, they kind of look uh, sharp, but not for long because from here we are now going to make them a lot more fluffier and softer looking. I am just layering this up. The more white you add to one area, the more, I guess, heavier it looks. And also it helps uh, give the illusion of shadows as well. Um, I don't want to completely cover it because I still want you to be able to see in the middle but uh, you'll be able to kind of see which direction the light is coming from by how, um, I guess, more opaque the white is in one area. Man, I hope y'all like whatever background music I got chosen at this moment because uh, we're kind of going a while with no talking. I guess I just don't know what else to say. Oh yay, we're finally moving on to the little deck. So I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow in there, but not completely. Uh, and then I want him to almost have a fluffy look, but not quite in the direction of fur. Uh, we'll see what I come up with.
you know, I probably spent way too long on this little baby duck, but I don't care. I think he looks really cute by the time I'm done with him. And I really did enjoy adding all those little uh, details to get all the extra fluffs in. I thought he's cute. If you've ever seen any of my other videos, you know that I just love detail. And I continue to go back several times to add detail to every part of this painting. Okay, so we're moving on to the grass now, obviously, and my goal and or thought process was to have it kind of blend into the green background as it goes up. Uh, looking back at it now, I wish I had blended it and tried to get the color a little closer, a nicer gradient, but um, you know, it's a bit of a cartoony acrylic painting and I liked it, so... And let me just tell you that I think layering up the blades of grass was way more time consuming than the dandelions because the grass, I wanted it to have different colors all the time, but the dandelions at least it was just one solid color. So uh, the grass took me a while, the dandelions close second, and I don't think the duck took me that long, but I enjoyed painting him the most, so it doesn't matter. Now I know I said this was a cartoon painting, and it is, but again looking back at it now, I wish I had made the blades of grass a little smaller. Kind of makes the duck seem mini, but yeah, that's cute, you know, whatever. So if you ever uh, paint this painting, I'd be excited to see how you do it. I just want you all to know that this cat jumped on my table, stepped in my paint palette, jumped on the floor, and now I have a perfectly green paw print on my carpet. Uh, 
Okay, and we're pretty much done from here. From uh, I just continue to do details like I always do. I love doing details. Uh, again, I want to apologize for this awkward form of recording. It was one of my very first paintings I'd ever actually recorded and I'm just now getting to it because I did not want to tackle the vertical recording that I did instead of the horizontal. Uh, lesson learned, I know for now. I love doing the cartoon paintings just as much as I love doing uh, realistic paintings and if you give this a try please let me know it would seriously just make my day knowing someone else uh, loved this painting enough to give it a try uh, what else am I missing uh, like sharing subscribing yada yada it'll make YouTube happy thank you and I will see you all in the next video